Okay, new wear ring is in. Uh, new impeller is here. And I'm going to uh, put it on. So basically, I'm going to on this thread here and a uh, little bit on those threads in there I am going to put a little uh, anti-seize which they recommend to do okay I, know I probably put on a little too much but uh, that's okay put it on there and I put it inside there so now I'm just going to put this uh, put this together Okay, same deal as before. My uh, pry bar, one inch socket, and with the tool, and uh, into the impeller, and my pry bar with the uh, 12 millimeter uh, Allen wrench. So, obviously, I'm going to uh, take it off, it's counterclockwise. I'm going to tighten it clockwise and remember how it didn't really take much to take off so I'm not really going to torque on it that much. I don't know the specs but I'm going to tighten it but I'm not going to really totally crank on it. Okay next step is I'm not going to put the uh, the synthetic pump grease back in. I am going to do what the uh, most of the guys on the forum are doing only because the uh, the grease ends up sitting like we talked about before way in the end of the cone and uh, nowhere near the bearing and when I took mine out my bearing was quite dry so anyways I have cleaned out this bearing blown it out um, so it, it's pretty clean and I'm gonna go with uh, with what the majority have been saying I went to West Marine and got the uh, synthetic lube ADW90 um, Expensive stuff actually, but 18 19 bucks uh, for uh, a quart. Anyways, I'm going to put a tiny bit in. They say two and a half ounces. So uh, since my bearing is quite dry, I'm going to put in uh, a little bit and just work it with the uh, with the Allen wrench and uh, turn it and make sure that uh, I'm going to get some oil right down in there. And then I'll put in the uh, two and a half uh, ounces. Okay, I bought two new oil rings. And uh, I'll put a still in there with the part numbers. But anyways, you uh, I ordered two of them up. And Surrey on my iPhone says that two and a half ounces equals seventy three milliliters, seventy three point something, blah blah blah. So anyways, what I did is because because I cleaned that bearing out so well and it was very very dry I just stuck 10 mil in there right now I just wanted to make sure it got really down in there and uh, I know when I tip it upside down to uh, put on the cone I'm gonna probably need help there so I'm not gonna make a mess of this stuff but um, I just wanted to make sure it got worked in there pretty good so uh, anyways I am now gonna turn this upside down I know I'm gonna get uh, probably half of that 10 mil is gonna slide out um, before I get the cone on but uh, anyways I'm uh, I'm gonna put two and a half ounces in the cone and I'm gonna put uh, I'll lube up my uh, new rings put some oil on them and then I'm gonna um, insert them in here make sure they're sitting nice and then I'll put uh, the oil in okay two and a half ounces I'm going to pour into the cone. I've got my uh, three bolts ready. I've cleaned all the lock nut uh, old stuff off there. And I'm going to apply uh, some blue removable to, uh, to these threads. And uh, I'm going to put it on. Vice. So uh, basically it's upside down. Just being... Uh, held by a vise and I will have to uh, go up like this and uh, my rings are in there and I've uh, lubricated them up 
and not much out of that um, out of that uh, 10 mil that I already put in there not much has really come out just a tiny little bit there but uh, most of it, is, it stayed up there that bearing was quite dry so anyways I'm going to uh, throw in the cone and I'm going to lubricate in around the cone too so hopefully I can slide it in nicely evenly and uh, put uh, basically no pressure on those uh, rings. I know one of the big questions was on the forum, well, you know, how much, how much oil is in there? Well, two and a half ounces fills up the good, I don't know, one third, say one third of this cone. So uh, that's what two and a half ounces looks like in that cone for expansion, I guess, when it heats up. Um, anyways, that's what it looks like. Okay, so it went in just not too bad, but what I'm going to do, instead of wiggling it all the way in, I'm going to uh, put it on like a tire. I put my Loctite on my screws, and I'm going to just do adjust, uh, tighten a little bit, little bit each side until it goes in evenly. Also want to note, uh, when tightening these up, I mean, they came out pretty easy. So, and you got to remember that this cone is plastic, so I don't know. I guess try to use common sense where you're not going to crank down on it too much because, you know, you don't want it uh, breaking. So, uh, I guess, you know, that's why they say to put the Loctite in there and uh, snug it up, but uh, I don't think you have to really crank on it that much. Okay, that went in easy. Um, just tightened it up like a, like a tire. Uh, slowly uh, drawed the cone up evenly. Um, it went in smooth, so I'm I'm pretty sure that the, the O-ring sat in their place and didn't bind because it uh, it went in nice, locked tight. So what I'm gonna do is since it's uh, February in Southern California here, and I'm not going out next week, I'm just gonna leave this turned like so on a paper towel, and uh, yeah, just see whether or not uh, the seals are right. Tomorrow I'll come back and look at it and see whether the paper towel is dry and whether or not uh, it's a tight, tight fit, tight seal. I have uh, some anti uh, anti seize in where the drive shaft's going to go, and um, because what I want to do tonight before I finish up is uh, I want to put on these uh, cones now. Solus gave two. Okay, this one, more like a square at the end. And this one, that has more like a taper at the end. And so I'm thinking, because the dealer put the last one on, he used the taper. So I will go back with the taper. And, um, and I mentioned before that there was a tip on the forums where they said hit... Uh, Hit the threads three different spots and uh, and then lock tight it up. Well, on mine there's no threads, but I was helping a buddy on the weekend that had an 06, uh, 215 horsepower model, and uh, and his his uh, seal cone had threads. So on the 185s, looks like no threads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pop this in. And uh, use some Loctite and uh, maybe have it uh, sit there for a bit and uh, firm up. But I did notice the last time when I pulled this off, pulled the old one off, uh, there's O-rings. There's one there, one on the outside, and two on the inside. 